So good good morning, everyone. So today we are going to see this particular question. This is uh, an evaluation question here. It's not a personal opinion question here. So uh, we are becoming increasingly dependent on computers. They are used in business, hospitals, crime detection, and even to fly planes. So what things they be used in future? Is this dependence on computers a good thing? or should we be more suspicious of their benefits? So let's understand the question once again. So the question is that it's a continuous thing that increasingly dependent on computers. We are increasingly dependent on computers. So right now we are using it in business, hospitals, crime detention, and even to fly planes. So what will be uh, this uh, use of these things in future and is this dependence on computers a good thing or should we be more suspicious of their benefits so is it a positive or negative thing so this is what the question is so let's go ahead with the first particular part it should be seen as a fact so here are the starting phrase is it should be seen as a fact so instead of this thing, I can use it's generally assumed that, it is commonly seen that, it's an undeniable fact that, it is obvious that, it's certain that. So I can replace this phrase as it's obvious that, it is very clear that, okay, it is uh, tangible that, it can be perceived that, so a lot of phrases I can use here. It should be seen as a fact that computers have become an inevitable part of humans almost in every walk of his life. The future of its usage is definitely based on artificial intelligence. So the answer to the first question is given there. The first question is what things will they be used in future? So it is based on artificial intelligence. And is, the, is this dependence on computers a good thing or should we become more suspicious? So it's a positive or negative. So its answer is it has both merits and demerits when such developments occur. So developments occur as a part of artificial intelligence. If such development occur, so it can be positive, it can be negative too. So this is what the introduction is. Now let's move ahead with the first particular paragraph. To begin, so I, I locate the phrase here, to begin. Computers have made its deep impression in health, education, trade, security, aviation, and even in space exploration these days. So this is the phrase we have used here to start the paragraph. So it's connected by this particular thing. So it is the sentence is connected at this juncture. So what is this thing? So this is a connective. So we are going with the cohesion and coherence there. Now at this injury, it can be assumed that in future, it can be used in solving more complex tasks and in almost certain that AI will be the critical player in that. So reading a person's mind, so that's uh, examples where uh, we can see expected features of computers in just a decade. So examples are there. So definitely we can say that these are the changes which is a part of artificial intelligence. So these things are going to happen in future. So this is what they have said in the first particular paragraph. Now let's move on to the second uh, paragraph. Turning to the expected positive outcomes. I can say the paragraph starts like this, positive outcomes. So each paragraph should be given some of the headings. So what you are writing in the paragraph. So we should give uh, the reader an idea what exactly is going in, in the paragraph. In the paragraph, what I am going to write. 
in the paragraph, I am going to write this particular thing, the positive outcomes. Okay, now this is a faster pace of human life. The point is faster pace. So it is explained in the next sentence that uh, a considerable proportion of time can be saved and this enables humans to become more productive in their respective fields of work or study. Now I have said examples, recalling very remote memory, travel to extraterrestrial locations would be very common in future. So on a whole, overall, we can say in future, the human life would be extremely advanced and different from what is seen today. So it will be extremely different. So that what we see today. So this is what the positive outcomes are. Now I can say the next particular uh, paragraph, criticisms arises. So this is not about the positive thing. The positive things are mentioned in this paragraph. Criticisms arises, it means this is definitely about the negative parts. Criticisms arises uh, as humans are projected to become intellectual slaves to computers. We can say that uh, in, uh, humans are becoming intellectual slaves to computers. To be precise, to explain it further, to be clearer. So you can use instead to be clearer, uh, to explain it further. Uh, all these things I can use to be precise. What one can generally expect is that the computers would be deciding what a person has to do and what he should not do. So the, the total control will be there with the computer. In short, he's doing, he's going to lose, uh, to be losing his own individuality in future. So what is the core of this thing, thing is that you, you will be losing your core, your individuality in future. And right now, you, every person has a unique identity a unique personality, and this will be lost in the future. So this is what they have said as a summary there in this particular paragraph. So we have said in future, how would be, what would be the change? Is it a positive thing? Yes, definitely we do have positive things. Okay, we have, we can say in future, human life would be extremely advanced and different from what is in today. At the same time, we can say that they, you are going to become intellectual slaves. So what you have to decide, what you should not, everything will be decided by the computer. This is what you can see as the main negative point there. Now I can say as a conclusion here. So I need to summarize paragraph number one, two, and three here. To conclude, it's clear that the use of computer technology is going to be mainly focused on AI, first paragraph done. Even though this facilitates a greater number of population, facilitates, it does have potential dangers. So this thing. So I have <clears throat> summarized the first paragraph, summarized the second, summarized the third. So that's it. We have come to the end of this particular uh, session here yeah, and uh, we do have um, the question at no point I have not mentioned any personal pronouns any personal opinion anywhere inside the essay thank you one and all